social networking. Join now. It's free. Um, and what we want to point out is not really. It doesn't cost money, but personal data has a value, and you're giving it. And that may be worth it to you. It's a great service, and you can connect with all of these people. But you do need to realize that you are giving something of value to participate in that service. So working with young people especially to understand what free means. Um, working with them to convey a realistic sense of audience, who they're talking to online. It's not just their friends, but their parents and colleges and employers, et cetera. The government in some cases, marketers and advertisers. Um, we also are working to convey the basics of technologies that once you've shared it, it's out there. You can't really take it back. Um, it can be replicated. Your friends may be your friends today and not tomorrow, and those kind of things to watch out for. Um, and we really want to work with people on personal responsibility. This was mentioned in the social media um, panel yesterday. Oh, well, it's up to people to, to protect themselves. Well, we think that too, and we want people to have the information they need to protect themselves. But since I just spent pretty much all morning trying to negotiate my Facebook settings and the information that I had before that's now all of a sudden links to this page and that page and the other page, which maybe Mark will be able to enlighten us on later, I thought, well, what if I were 15? I really don't know how you would negotiate all of those. So we're trying to, even Facebook actually does come up with some good information. We're trying to convey that to people so they can use it to make choices. Um, and in doing this, we go on our web page, we provide a broad array of educational information organized by if you're a consumer, if you're a student, et cetera, you can look it up in that way. We also want to do on a broader scale, bring people's attention to the privacy nonprofits and university centers that are doing research in this area and that are producing papers and work or engaging in litigation on behalf of consumers. So people like the um, Center for Democracy and Technology, Future of Privacy Forum, EPIC, EFF, Privacy Rights Clearinghouse, there are tons of really knowledgeable organizations out there. So if you're a governmental representative, for example, you should be calling these people to ask before you just throw something out there. If you're a representative of a company and you want to try out some new thing, maybe call someone and ask, well, what work have you done in this area? Because chances are there's a nonprofit out there that's done work on it. So we want to bring those people together. 